Today we're going to have a look at Search Engine Optimization, or SEO. Continuing our blog, we have our index action here, which is our root path, and we see all of our different blog articles. We can also go into our show page, which displays each article. Now, the problem is that once we deploy our blog, we want people to be able to search Google based on some keywords or some uh, the context of our blog entries. We want them to be able to find our page through the search engines. And that's where SEO comes into play. And one of the main parts of SEO is being able to um, have your results cached with your search engine. So with Google and Bing, we're going to create what's called a sitemap and we're going to upload that into our application, have it generated, and then push that out to the different search engines. While we could create the sitemap manually, there's really no need to as there is this great gem sitemap generator that will allow us to use our Ruby language to generate the sitemap and then ping the different search engines with the sitemap. All right, to get started, let's go into our gem file and add the sitemap generator gem. All right, be sure to run the bundle command. And from here, we can run a rake task provided by the sitemap generator gem called rake sitemap install. And this will create a file in the config sitemap.rb. So looking at the sitemap generated file, we can see that the root path, in our case, it is the blog index action, is automatically added to the sitemap index. However, what we want to do is we want to loop through each one of the different blog entries. So here we're going to just loop through each one of the blogs. We're going to add the path to the blog. We're going to set the last modified to the updated ad, and we're going to set a priority. Now, one thing that we want to do is because our blogs do update very often, we can also add in a blog's path to a priority of five and a change frequency daily if we plan on updating our blog every day. Once we have added all the entries into our sitemap, we're now ready to push this to production. So let's say we are on our production server and now we want to generate the sitemap file with our production blog entries, as well as we want to ping the different search engines with our new sitemap index file. So what we can do is we can do a rate task, sitemap create, and this will generate the sitemap index file. However, this will not ping the different search engines. There is a file or rate task here called sitemap refresh, which will generate a new sitemap index, and you'll see that it'll also ping Google as well as Bing. Now, you will need to set up a Google account as well as a Microsoft account to add your sitemap to your site. You will have to go through a verification process to show that you do own that site. So here is the Google sitemap index, and if we look over here, this is the Bing uh, location for updating the sitemap. Uh, I've went ahead and logged in here, and you can see that we have already submitted our sitemap index. However, it's still in a pending state. Because the sitemap does not immediately get parsed by the search engine, it could take a few days in order for it to pick it up. Another benefit of submitting your sitemap file to the different search engines is that it will create a list of different keywords sorted by their significance based on the contents of your sitemap file. So this will also help your website show up higher in the search results. Now, keep in mind that there are several other things that affect your search engine optimization. Now serving your website over SSL will help, as well as making sure that you're using good titles and keywords in your meta tags. So that will be for a different episode, as today was really just covering the sitemap index, which is a often overlooked part of the search engine optimization when developing your application. Thank you for watching the episode today.